Hello and welcome back to the Bristly Stranger. Here we are back in Overland. And here's our ragtag group of survivors. Ike's there with his boombox strapped to his backpack. Mitchell's nodding along to the music. Kelly's so happy he's floating above the floor. And Lily's slightly embarrassed to be with them all. Now we did get our new van. We have got our crash bar on the front. It is smoking a bit, so we do need to get that repair kit. I would like to get a roof rack so we can carry more gear. And of course, we've still got room for another survivor. So let's start our trip through the mountains and see how far we get before the Gribblies make life difficult for us. So here's our map through the mountains. We have only got four fuel remaining, so we can't even get to some of the places. So as a complete no-brainer, we go straight for the first lot of fuel and then we see where we're up to after we get that. The binoculars do show us some of what's coming up ahead, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. So for now, let's just go and collect that fuel. Eek! Okay, we have a new kind of gribbly. We've got several dead ones, and these ones very much aren't dead. I have no idea what they do. We have got some dude with an axe and a backpack. We really want them on board. Um, we don't know how fast these are, so we want to stay away from them. Okay. Uh, I have a cunning plan. I'm going to get Ike and move him to here. Uh, we don't do the group thing anymore. Well. I think they're going to run off, so we're going to get Kelly. Move Kelly to there, should be safe even if that one moves too. And Kelly is going to use the assist to give Ike an action back. Uh, we can only attack them, they have got a backpack. I don't really want to attack them though, they have got an axe. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it is time to take them out. Oh, I don't know. We'll come back to that. We'll have a look at what the others are going to do first. So, Mitchell, you've got your first aid kit. It's the disposable one. You stand here. Hopefully we attract this guy in this direction. It's like we've got shield and sticks. The stick's going to be much more important than the one-use medical kit. Yeah. Uh, and Lily floaty boulder in the way. Let's stand here with Lily. Yeah, hopefully this one will go for Lily and then these two, if this guy runs off, I've got a clear rein to all of this stuff. Let's have a look. Oh, they've got the fuel. Oh. Oh dear. Okay, I'll take it back. These guys are summoning more Gribblies every turn. So, I think we do want them dead. Uh, Lily, is there a bottle about? No. So, like, you can't get there. You can get there though. Oh. Mitchell, you go up in that direction. There's only two more coming at the minute. It's going to be even more if we kill these guys though. Okay. Yeah, Kelly, you come that direction. You can have a search in there. I think we've got no choice but to try and kill this thing. There we go. Another one down. It does summon some more, though. Mm. Looks like Nesta in the comments was right. We do have to kill them. We can't leave them anymore. Uh, okay, Lily, there's nothing over there. You come back in this direction. Okay, end turn. This guy's stealing all the loot. Oh, there's some fast ones coming next turn. Do you know what? It's a super mean thing to do. But I think this guy is going to have to be taken out. He's got an axe. He's got fuel. We need both. Oh, sorry, dude. Yeah. Ah. Uh. 
I've killed him with a fire extinguisher. It's created loads of noise. Kelly, get over there. We can revive him. But obviously we don't want to. Uh, we'll get the fuel for now. And move to there. Lily, you've got the first aid kit that we need to keep. Hmm. What we can do, we move to here. We'll take that. And we'll use Lily's second action to fill up. There we go, and then we can take that back. Kelly can be past something. Uh, there we go, we'll pass. Oh no, we dropped it on the floor. Uh, we'll give Kelly the boombox. We have got the fuel. Uh, got a stick. Kinda want more fuel. Definitely want that axe. I think what we're gonna have to do is steal that axe and then we're gonna leg it. I can't believe we just killed that guy. Oh my goodness, there's another Gribbly! I don't like the look of that one at all. Okay, uh, let's, let's go to there with Ike. No, we can't. Okay, we can pick that up. Uh, we can... Oh, we've done this in the wrong order. Let's try again. We'll pick up the boombox. We'll give that back to Ike. We'll grab the axe. Uh, we will come back to here. Mm. One, two. Uh, yeah, I think we've got to kill this guy. And we've got to get back in the car. Oh, no. We can't go there, we'll undo it. One, two. I think we've just got to get as close to the car as we can. And next turn, we can start pulling some people into it. Yeah, Mitchell, you get in for now. Yeah, we're just going to have to abandon the rest of this stuff. We have got six fuel. Yeah. Okay, next turn. Let's see what these gribblies do. Ah, there's loads of them. Okay, Nesta, sorry if <laughs> it looked like I didn't believe you. Definitely believe you now. Let's get in. This axe is going to help us. Uh, let's just jump everybody in for now. And then we're going to drive off. Uh, this fungus one is spreading some kind of weird thing on the ground. I don't like the look of that at all. Let's just escape. Okay, so we're back at the camp screen. Kelly in the dialogue was saying, Ike, I can't believe you killed that guy. And while it's awful that we had to stove him in with our fire extinguisher, we have got an axe, and more importantly, we've got the fuel that we need to get to the next place. It was a bit of them or us. So in future, it's going to be much better to kill those Gribblies than let them call in loads more. We still don't overly know what the fungus ones do. I don't really want to find out by standing in that stuff. But let's move on to the next place. We're going to go for fuel over anything else. It is going to cost us four to get there. But now I feel a bit more prepared to deal with anything we can find. So fire extinguishers at the ready. Let's go and get that fuel. Okay, so here we are. We have another survivor. They've got a knife and a backpack. Oh, I'd love that backpack. We forgot to get it off the last guy. Uh... We have got a noisy gribbly up there. We want to take him out. There is a bottle. I think Lily has probably got the best chance of getting him. So, move Lily to here. Just looking for fuel. You and me both, buddy. We're going to drop that just there. And we're going to move to just there. I think Lily can get there next turn. We're, we've not got any time this turn to take him out. Uh, with Mitchell, I think we're going to come over here. And we're going to try and pull these guys in this direction. Uh, Kelly. You come to here for now. Got the axe to start taking them out if necessary. I think we're just going to have fuel over here. 
maybe we use the boom box. It might start getting silly. Now we have got a burning fire, but it doesn't look like there's any wind to spread it. So we should be okay with that. Yeah, I'm going to come over here. Okay, that'll do for this turn. They've got the fuel. Looks like they're going for that bottle as well. Um, Lily, you get the bottle. Pick it up. We can't kill them this turn. Not even moving Kelly to there, so we'll move Kelly to here. Oh! What was that? Some kind of mist! I didn't even see it on the map. Hmm. That's teleported us. Uh, that is new, there's some more over here, now I'm looking for it. Okay, so we'll have to be careful of that in future, that is new to me. Okay, Kelly, you step forward. Now we've got two options, either Kelly can kill it, or Lily can throw a bottle at it. Now this guy, yeah, we're going to have to just leave him. Mitchell. Oh, there's another one coming up, it might be a fast one, so we'll start moving away. We'll move to here. We kind of want these guys away from what's going on over here. And Ike, search the car, I imagine it'll just be fuel. It is. Uh, so, we are going to pick up the fuel at the expense of the fire extinguisher. We'll try and get that back, but we'll fill up for now. We can't get anywhere without fuel. Uh, I think that's everyone. Uh, quick look. Yep, that is everyone. Uh, he's going through there. He has got a lot of fuel now. Hmm bit mean, but I think we might be killing him. Kelly, you are certainly killing that thing. That is super annoying. Now killing that doesn't actually summon any more. So this guy's going to have two health. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to get Kelly. We're going to get Kelly to move to here and give Lily the axe. Lily you're going to have to take this guy out. Again, don't like doing that kind of thing. But we need the fuel. Ah, We're stone cold killers now. Alright, we've got to try and pull this Gribbly away from what's going on. I want that backpack, I want that fuel. Ike, fill up what we've got. There is a fast one coming, we may have to take that out as well. Come over here, you can get your fire extinguisher back. That is a weapon. Okay, uh, I think that's everyone. Mitchell's still got to go, but I kind of want to leave him there. Oh, who's this? Charlotte? Okay, uh, is this somebody that Lily knows. Um, no, it's still a stranger. The only option is to kill them. So we can move to here. We can't pick up the backpack, unfortunately. Okay. Um, yeah, Lily, you move to there. I think we're going to swap the bottle for the fuel. Yeah, we've got to stick with Ike. He's got the lighter to turn it into a torch. It does look like it's getting late now. Ike, you move back here. <laughs> I think we're going to steal their fuel as well. Hmm. Hopefully this person doesn't steal our car. I have to wait and see. Uh... Yeah, in that case, Mitchell, you move closer. Kelly, you can't move closer. Could move up to here and search this next turn, though. We'll be able to carry fuel and more fuel. Uh, well, surprise, surprise, this one is taking us out. We did kill their buddy, though. Okay, so, Lily, you move to there, attack them. Mitchell, 
pick up that medikit, heal, really can't leave that behind, go back to your stick, we're going to kill this person, hopefully it doesn't break the stick because we need it, hmm, okay siphon, I'm feeling real mean now, we killed them, we stole their gas, I'm not even sure we can carry this much fuel in the car. But we're going to try and get out of it. If we go to there, we're going to teleport. Hmm. Okay. So we've not got a lot of choice. We can spill. No, we don't want to do that. I'm going to leave him there for a moment. Uh, yeah. Okay, so to get Kelly back, I'll have to move to there. Don't want to step on that though, that's a teleport. This thing is going to get Kelly, so I've got no choice but to kill it with Mitchell. Um, got four. So actually we can't carry much more fuel anyway, because we've got five over here. Okay, Mitchell, you come to here. You wait where you are. We did siphon this gas. It appears to not be anywhere though. Okay, we're gonna wait. We can get one more gas. There we go. Right, yeah. All right, that'll do. Lily, you wait there. These guys are all slow. I think we can be okay. We've got two, three more coming. We should be alright though. Let's see. We don't want these guys to stand in front. Hmm. I wonder... We can't quite get to the car with him. But Mitchell can get in. Ah. Uh, no. We can't do that. We will be in trouble. So if we pull him in, we won't get the fuel. So we'll have to move to here. Uh, swap the fuel. Mitchell then has to pull this guy in or else he's going to get bitten. Still got the medical kit on the floor. Can't leave that behind. Lily, you've moved to here. Hopefully this comes back away. Like... Yeah, you come back to here. Got to get that fuel into the vehicle. Another turn. Oh, we were lucky. Another fungus one. Okay, Ike. Fill her up. That gives us the fuel. Fire extinguisher. Hmm. Fire extinguisher, axe. Medical kit. Ah. Oh. I've got to take the medical kit. There we go. I think that's probably going to be a mistake. I think the fire extinguisher is a more useful thing than the axe. Hmm. It is a tool. So we will just pull in. You can assist from inside the vehicle. Yeah, we're going to swap back to the fire extinguisher. Shame we can't pick up the backpacks. There we go. And let's get out of here. No, I did the wrong thing. Undo it, thankfully. There we go. Turn on the vehicle and drive away to safety. Phew. Okay, so it is night time. We did get our branch with Mitchell. He has still got his lighter, so we can make a torch. That's not going to be a lot of light. I should imagine it's going to be super dark in the mountains. I think we are going to go for the survivor over the vehicle. I mean, if we go to the vehicle, we've got more chance of finding upgrades for our vehicle. But I do want that fifth person. I think that will help us out loads with the extra actions and the extra carrying capacity. Shame we didn't quite get as much fuel as we could have done from the last location. I did panic a bit. In future, we do want ranged weapons over melee weapons, especially with Lily, who's good at throwing. 
if we can take noisy griblies out before they do anything, that's definitely going to help us out loads. We're not going to have a swarming map. But let's go and get this survivor and see if we can survive the night. Okay, here we go, day six, night time. Straight away, I can see there's a fast gribbly, and it looks like a doggo. Okay, uh, who's got the weapon? Okay, Lily, you've got the fire extinguisher. I think what we're gonna do, you'll get out here. Because it's so dark, we can't do much about this guy, so we're just gonna kill him. <laughs> That's immediately putting us on the clock. But, Mitchell, you get out. And what you can do... Oh no! We broke the stick! Ah! Okay, what we can do is double team people. So one goes, then the other. That way we can see slightly better. We can't move past. Okay, move to here. Keep an eye out. Okay, Ike. Move in the other direction. Can't really see anything. Oh, I can see something. It looks like there might be a bottle, but that is definitely a long leg scribbly. Uh, if we move to here with Ike, we should be safe from it, though. And there is a stick just here. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, here's the long legs. Ah, oh, there's a fungus one. There's another one coming up. Okay, Mitchell, you search there. What have we got? It's a flare gun. Hmm, I kind of want to keep that for now. There's nothing we want to take out at range. And Kelly, if you move here... Yeah, this guy's... Mm. I want to get that dog. I think we should be okay for a minute. Um, okay, Mitchell, you come up here. Lily. I don't think we've got a lot of choice. Kill it. Move up. There's nothing else about... Yeah, there's that car, but there's another Gribbly there. No, I think we just stay back. Let's find out if we can save the dog or not. There's the two legs. Oh, what is that? Whatever it is, I do not like it. Kelly. Uh, oh, there is something in the way. We can't get to the dog this way. Well, forget it. We're going back to the car. I'm not a happy bunny. Just going to have to abandon everything. Lily, step forward. Yeah, it's all getting too hairy. Sorry, doggo. You are being left behind. Um, Mitchell, for now, I think we're going to leave you there. Yeah, this has been a totally wasted trip. There's so many. We can't really tell what's coming. Hopefully we can run this guy over without ruining our vehicle. Mitchell, you come to there. Yeah, Kelly, you come to there. Hmm. In we get. So we did get the flare gun. But that is pretty much it. Yes, we can escape. Oh, we ran over some of the fungus. That didn't stop us. Okay, so the only positives coming out of that, we only used one fuel and nobody got hurt. We did get a flare gun, and that's going to obviously be super helpful. I think the next two, the trader's camp and the fuel, we're going to ignore them for now. We're using a lot of fuel to get to them. So we're going to ignore them and go for the other survivor. But we are about halfway through the mountains now. I think that is a good place to leave it. I'm not happy with the mountains at all. It's an awful place to be. So we're going to call it quits there. Please join us for the next part of Oberland. And for now, I've been the Bristly Stranger. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Hi guys, this is Lily. I've got a bad feeling about the road ahead. But if you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a like and keep up to date by subscribing.
Thanks for watching. Bye!